In question 1, we have to find the value of the unknown x in the following diagrams. So we will apply the angle sum property to each of these triangles. The angle sum property says that the sum of the three angles of a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So let's start with part 1. In part 1, the three angles are x, 50 degrees and 60 degrees. So the sum of these three angles should be 180 degrees. So we can write x plus 50 degrees plus 60 degrees. This must be equal to 180 degrees. So 50 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 110 degrees. So from here we can write x will be equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees or this will be equal to 70 degrees. So 70 degrees is the answer for part 1. Then in part 2 the three angles of the triangle, the three interior angles are x 30 degrees and this angle which is indicated to be 90 degrees. Right, so we can write x plus 30 degrees plus 90 degrees will be equal to 180 degrees. So 30 plus 90 is 120. So from here we can write x will be equal to 180 minus 120 or this will become equal to 60 degrees. So 60 degrees is the answer for part 2. Then in part 3, the three interior angles of the triangle are x. 30 degrees and 110 degrees. So the sum of these three angles will be 180 degrees. So we can write x plus 30 degrees plus 110 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So 30 degrees plus 110 degrees is 140 degrees. So we will get x is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees and this will come out to be 40 degrees. So the answer for part 3 is 40 degrees. Then in part 4, we have two unknown angles. We have x and we have x and we have 50 degrees. So the sum of these three angles should be 180 degrees. So x plus x plus 50 degrees, this sum should be equal to 180 degrees. So from this, we will get 2x on the left side. x plus x is 2x and we can take the 50 degrees to the right side so we will get 180 degrees minus 50 degrees or 130 degrees so 2x is equal to 130 degrees so from here we will get x is equal to 130 degrees divided by 2 and 130 divided by 2 is 65 so we will get x equal to 65 degrees so 65 degrees is the answer for part 4. Then in part 5, uh, all the three angles are marked as x. So all the three angles are unknown, but their measure is the same. So we can say that x plus x plus x, the sum of the three angles, this is equal to 180 degrees. So from here, we will get 3x is equal to 180 degrees and Therefore, we will get x equal to 180 divided by 3 and 180 divided by 3 is 60. So, we will get x equal to 60 degrees. So, this is the answer for part 5. Finally, in part 6, we have this angle x, we have this angle 2x and we have this angle which is marked 90 degrees. So, we can write x plus 2x plus 90 degrees, this is equal to 180 degrees. So on the left side we have x and 2x, this is 3x and this 90 degrees we take to the right side. So we will get on the right side 180 minus 90 or 90. So we will, we will get the equation 3x is equal to 90. So then we divide by 3 on both sides and therefore we will get x is 90 by 3 and 90 degrees by 3 will be 30 degrees. So x will come out to be equal to 30 degrees. So this is the answer for part 6 and with this we have completed question number 1. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.